Hi there everyone, Unbudging Salmon here. Today we're looking at a new self-harm deck. They said it couldn't be done, they said it shouldn't be done, they tried to give us bans. They said that they're going to ban everything that has to do with paying life points to prevent people from making decks to end the game early. Uh, and I think that they just grossly underestimate how many of these cards Konami has made over the years. So. We have a new self-harm deck popping up on a bunch of different places online. This is kind of like a rough first draft. We'll see if they make any changes to the NR event before this comes out. Um, so, I mean, let's get you know, let's just get into it. All right. So the first one is Immortal of Thunder. So he is a flip effect monster. Uh, when your life points. Uh, they increase by 3,000 when he slipped face up, but when he's sent to the, from the field to the graveyard, you lose 5,000 life points. So you run three of those. Uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. It's free 5,000 damage. Uh, I don't think you ever said it. I don't know exactly if this part, he has to be flipped up to get this part. I can't imagine that he would have to. Um, the next is Mist Archfiend, a personal favorite back when I had an Archfiend deck way back when. Uh, you can normal summon it without tributing, and then once per turn during your end phase, if it was summoned like this, destroy it. If you do, you take a thousand damage. Pretty self-explanatory. Um, UA Dreadnought Dunker. You can special summon him from your hand by returning UA Monster. We don't have any other ones, so it's really not that important. Um, if it, it does piercing damage uh, to your opponent, when this card inflicts piercing damage to your opponent, you can target one card in the field and destroy it. Uh, so you're going to use him to destroy your boy, the Immortal of Thunder, if necessary. Um, then you have Seal the Agents, which of course is in, from the deck last time. So you pick up all face down cards on your post of the field and return them to their original position. Uh, you do that by activating 1000 life points. Then we got some decks in for Gather Your Mind to search out more Gather Your Minds. Some Cup of Ace for draw power. Star Blast, just to pay any number of life points uh, in multiples of 500, reduce the level of a monster you control, or a monster that's in your hand by 500, by 1 for each 500 life points paid till the end phase. So you got some beefy boys, you know, you can drop these guys down to like 1 star, really dunk yourself some life points. And then, you know, even normal summon them, really, if you wanted to, especially him. Alright. So UA signing deals, special summon one UA monster from your deck, but its effect is negated. Also, it cannot be used as synch synchro material or extra material for a summon. Then you lose life points equal to the monster's level, which is why you have your boy up here again if you don't start your hand with him. But for Star Blast, you can always use your signing deal, you know, take 2100 damage to the face. Um, then you have Gold Moon Coin, where you take two cards from your hand, add it to your opponent's hand, then draw two cards. So more draw power. Uh, Toon World, of course. You activate it by paying a thousand life points. Hand Destruction for more draw power. Another all-star returning from the last self-harm deck. You pay half your life points. If you do, you can fusion some material. Uh, fu machine fusion monsters this turn. You can banish all the monsters from your hand field or graveyard. We're not going to be running any. Not that important. Uh, what is important is dumping half your life points. Um, Burst Rebirth, you can pay 2,000 life points, then target one monster from your graveyard to press summon that target face down defense position. If you have to use this card to grab the Immortal Thunder, it's important to know that you're still going to be down 4,000 total life points, right? You're going to pay 2,000 to set him, you're going to gain 3,000, so you're only up a plus 1,000 life points, but then when they kill him, or you kill him, that's another minus 5,000 for a total loss of 4,000 life points. Uh, and then you have Mind Drain, you can activate this card by paying a thousand life points, and neither player can activate monster cards from the hand, uh, which is super good. If for some reason you get stuck with your boy Immortal Thunder in the field, I've added a couple of extra deck cards. Um, Proxy Dragon will let you dump two of these guys, that's 5,000 damage to your face, if for some reason they don't destroy your Immortal Thunders. Um, at Kotaker for the same thing. Uh, Shadow Construct is two flip monsters as well. And Cross Sheep is two monsters with different names. If for some reason you get stuck with Immortal Thunder and one of these guys. Just a way to get them off the field. Do damage to yourself. Uh, I'm sure they're going to do something where they reduce the medals you get from losing. Just like they did last time. 
or increase the battles you get from winning one of the two, so it's going to be less effective to do this. Um, but if you're just looking to autopilot your way through a few games, get some people some free wins, some free medals, uh, and you just think it's funny to play the game this way, well then I think this might be a deck for you. Right? Uh, if you have any ideas for a new self-harm deck for this event, uh, please let me know in the comments. If you don't see the other deck lists, you know, leave those in the comments as well. Alright, have a good day and happy doing duelists.